Now I think we might have it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, there's one. Yeah. The little one or the big one? The, <laughs> the big this one. Don't touch it because that stings. Please. Okay, there's the little one. Yep. So the big one's up here. The little one's over here. Uh, let me see if I can get the little one. Yep, there it is, barely. <laughs> yeah, those things sink. Yeah, and that was... You just barely touched it. Oof. <laughs> I don't know about all that, homie. But, but yeah, that one is about to pop back open. Nice, nice, nice. For those who don't know, this is a type of prickly pear cactus. There are multiple species of the prickly pear cactus. I had no idea. I thought there was only one. Oh, God, I think there was like 20-something, and I quit looking. Yeah. I Googled it the other night. I thought there was only one, the kind that grows low on the ground, and then they eventually get this big. Oh, no. No, no, no. You got you got pads coming up down here, too. Or fruit or something fell off. Ah, oh, crap. But anyway, these... Uh, I don't need them. I don't need them sprouting up out here. <laughs> so, that when it's all spread out, is nice and pretty. I've got some pictures of those when they're all nice and pretty. But anyway, this is a species of prickly pear cactus. And that's the two I sent you yesterday. Uh-huh. Now it flows back up. Yep. They've been pollinated. Yep, yep. Now, once the flowers are gone, the fruits are ripe to pick. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So once these flowers have completely closed up and fallen off, this thing's been pollinated, these little, these little fruits will be safe to pick and eat. You can cut the pads up and eat them, too. You just got to watch out for them spines. Well, that's you just got to get past the spines. These? Not bad. No. When they get a little bigger, and I'm not touching that one. Hell no, them some bitches hurt. Them some bitches hurt. Now, I've known that you could eat these things for years, but I've never actually tried them. They're delicious. I've heard that. They're I've heard that. Delicious. Now, since we're filming, you, you can confirm this, but every book that I've ever read and everything that I've ever heard about prickly pear cactus is, not only can you take the pads, the, the pads... And cut them up and eat them and cook them and saute them like beans and stuff like that. Yeah. But you can also take the jelly from inside them, the, the jelly type stuff from the middle inside the pads, and use it as a sunburn cream. Uh, it, it's not a, exactly great. To a degree, yes. It's not exactly great, yeah, but it, it's better than nothing. It, yeah, it's definitely better than nothing. But them fruits, from what I understand, are they're high in C, vitamin C. Yeah. And a few other things. And they're supposed to be really sweet. You just got to get past the seeds. First thing, I like them when they're still green because they got kind of a cucumber watermelon flavor. Ooh. Uh, and then once they get ripe, they're purple in color. Yeah, ignore the moon tan legs. <laughs> yeah, they ignore my discolored legs, so I'll go back to the... Uh, but no, when they get ripe, they're pur they're a very deep purple color yes. flavor. Yes. They're very sweet, very delicious. And these flowers, and when they're... I like they're... them both, but... When these flowers are fully bloomed, they're actually kind oh, they're of pretty. Gorgeous. They really are. Absolutely. And you got a lot of fruits on this plant. Yeah. Yeah. This this these cacti have been here for about four years now. That's four years worth of growth. And that's how small did it start? Honestly. One of them is about that size. And you got and that's one. That's why you don't grab them. Oh, 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 let me see if I can see. Oh, it. there's two in there. Uh, yeah, I can't see it. Now I think we might have it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, there's one. Yeah, the little one or the big one. Uh, <laughs> the big this one. Don't touch it because that stings. Okay, there's the little one. Yep. <laughs> so the big one's up here. The little one's over here. Uh, let me see if I can get the little one. Yep, there it is, barely. <laughs> yeah, those things sink. Yeah, and that was... You just barely touched it. Mm. Oof. Nasty. No, that was off that little nodule right there. Well, let me sit here to touch that one. Okay. So I've had a few this size, a few this size, and the one that started all was this one right here. I'm going to let you hold this for a second because I wanted to show the viewers something. All right. Okay. Hang on, I'm a little off balance here. Now we're, okay. right. we're okay. back. Okay, so... 
I've known about these things for years. Like I told you said before in the intro of the video here, I didn't know there was so many different species of these. Oh yeah. When Brian brought it to my attention the other day when we were talking about this, he sent me the pictures of the yellow flowers over here. Uh, I was like, dude, that's prickly pear cactus. He's like, uh, yeah, no, it's prickly pear cactus. And then we look it up and yeah, there's like, I went through Google and I got like through 20, 30 different species and I was like, okay, I've seen enough. There's like way more of these than I thought there was. But there's different ways to harvest these pads. Oh yeah. And some people use gloves. Some people will come out here and they'll actually take a scraper or something. Me, I prefer the torch lighter. It does work. Just take the torch lighter. I'm not gonna do it, but you take the torch lighter, the spines you have to kind of break off on your own. Yeah. But these little fuzzies right here, those are the ones that'll get you that you don't really see. I like to take the torch lighter and burn them off before I pick this stuff. Yeah. That's one of the oldest tricks, the easiest tricks in the world. Knock some spines off real quick. It doesn't hurt the plant. I mean, hell, you're gonna be cooking it and sauteing it anyway. Yeah. So I just carry a torch lighter around with my kit. I don't blame you. Yeah, and gloves. I'm wearing the gloves Go anyway, on. just in case you miss a couple of them. Because these little ones, these these little ones here, I'm gonna take this. No, I will. Let me see. Am I still in macro mode? Yes. Yeah, those little ones right there. Those are the nasties. And there are a ton of them. Yes, there is. And if I remember right, they've got a skin irritating toxin on them, do they not? No, actually they don't. And so it's the locust that does. Yeah. I know locusts do. Try to at those honey locusts, those types yes. of things. Yes, they do. Yes. Uh, now, no, Bodoc, no. a.k.a. Osage Orange, yellow locust, absolutely yeah. gorgeous wood, nightmare and a half to cut with a chainsaw. Now, which one are you talking about how you deal with these? Uh-huh. Uh, how you toss them? Uh-huh. Me, personally, I take a, I've got a, years ago I had somebody give me a survival spear. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, I take it and just cut the pad off. Mm hmm. Take a rough edge of it. Just scrape them off. Scrape off the. Okay, scrape spines. off the spines. Yeah, there's a lot of people do it that way. And then trim the outside edge off about a quarter inch. There you go. So you 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 cut literally cut off the little spikes and spines. The little hair like spines. You cut them off when you trim the outer edge off. Yeah. Yeah, well, hell, that works yeah, you too. You lose part of the plant, so you're losing. Well, I mean, you're going to be trimming that off anyway when you go to prepare it for cooking, anyway, right? Sure. So, okay. For me personally, I love them sauteed, especially with some scrambled eggs and some tortilla chips. I'm going to have to try that. Oh, it's amazing. Like I said, I've known about these things for years. I've I have yet to have a chance to try the fruits. Uh, I've heard oh, about the pads and the uh, the, uh, the 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 Latino restaurant next door to us. Uh, Aguas Calientes. Aguas Calientes, yes. Yeah. They they apparently make these. They sell them. They do. Uh, and uh, Los, Los, Los Tres, Tres Reyes, Reyes. Yep. they make them too. They were just at the pawn shop recently. Man, their food is good. They do a very Dude, good Dude, man, I'm telling you what. I'm going to have to holler at one of them. And what was the meal you were telling me about that I need to holler at them about cooking? Oh, God, there was a bunch of them. With this. Oh, this? Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> I, I put him on the spot, folks. I put him on the spot, uh, <laughs> I can't not remember exactly how they had it listed. But you said it had it, eggs in it. But it was eggs, cactus, and all that. It was Nepalis something. And I can't tell you, I, to be honest with you, I can't, I don't remember from there. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Everybody hates this plant. It's I don't hate the, the plant. plant. I just... I'm just not a big fan of the spikes. It's, a, it's an unusual <laughs> plant for people, and most folks don't like something different. Well, and a lot of the farmers around here have them growing in their fields, and they just mow them down. Yeah. They just mow them down. Well, anyway, there you go, folks. Prickly pear cactus. I'll uh, I'll post the picture with it that, that actually gives the uh, Latin scientific name and the basic information when I post this video. So, there you go. 